Showtime 92 was set to be a showdown of the Motown giants, Holden bringing in the big guns to launch its senator. I'd like to think that I'd perhaps inspired the name, but I very much doubt that. Holden Special Vehicles have created a special niche for itself in Australian automotive industry. Holden's new HSV Senator wins its name from European family ties. It replaces the SV5000 and now gets a 200 kilowatt V8 motor and anti-lock brakes, leather and HSV suspension. Over on the other side of town, Henry was getting chummy with Mr Tickford. He's that distinguished British chappie who, like Tom Walkinshaw, makes wondrous performance changes. The Tickford XR8 V8 Falcon it's set to rekindle a legend 25 years on. In fact, this show is something of a mecca for legends. Sterling Moss at the show both to endorse Tickford and to update on the Targa Tasmania. Uh, the car that I'm driving is called a Shelby, a Shelby Mustang from 64 to 67. They're all about the same cars for three years. And it really is absolutely staggering how, how nice it is to drive. The new Tickford Falcon GT goes on sale later in the year. The champ, Holden HSV boss John Crennan reckons they've still got a bit to work out. Um, I think they've looked at a different uh, market research document to what, uh, to what we're working on. I think uh, unless they've quite deliberately decided to go for a different niche to what we are, but we've found that the market now, that uh, the enthusiast performance market, they're wanting a little bit more in the European high-tech, uh, sophisticated, elegant look, whereas uh, this particular vehicle here is obviously a much stronger, aggressive thing, so whether that can... Uh, last the passage of time I guess remains to be seen. The importance of the Melbourne show also isn't missed on importers. Honda choosing to launch the new CRX here just ahead of its European debut at Geneva. Irresistible for the sporty set, there's real innovation here for 30 grand. An easily stylable Targa roof and a wind in the hair bonus even when the top's on. Certainly the Honda stand was to be the centrepiece of the show. With a focus on the environment, micro-motoring has a big future. Incredibly, this Daihatsu Opti can take four adults and luggage, one of three babies for Daihatsu at the show. Microcar, Maxi Technology. The Daihatsu mirror shows off all the latest in technology from Japan. It's got to be half a chance. In fact, it's half a car. Mazda, the show was to be an ideal test case for fold-up motoring, the perfect approach to the new star billing RX-7. And you're in the 35 to 50 year group with 70 grand to spend, Subaru's got just the number, the new SVX to tempt you away from Mazda's similarly priced RX-7. Subaru has four-wheel drive and a three-litre flat-six motor, but quirky glass panel styling. On balance, the recession-hit heartland of Australia's motor industry has sure done its bit to turn up the bright lights and kick-start the economy with a new model-led recovery.